Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world. Just a quick update on uh, one of these videos, prophetic video that I made, a prophetic message, a series of messages, in fact, uh, in that one particular video that I made back in late January this year. Um, and in that video, uh, at around minute 417, this is why I said Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, you're going there with all your riches left behind. You'll go in the ground, you won't take anything with you. Right, I want to stop that there because uh, the focus is on this particular person that I just mentioned in the video and I had said in that video uh, other names and I said lots of them have already gone although I was saying that you need to go and prepare yourself or repent and do something amazing while you're alive but at the same time I did say that some of these people have already gone including this uh, witch in the Buckingham Palace now the witch had already gone and I knew that uh, and after that news about her and her family surfaced here and there uh, kept us uh, busy basically kept people busy not me because I, I don't even give a moment of a day for those corrupt rulers of this um, world. However, we need to know what's happening. And they kept people busy with irrelevant news about their dogs, about their grand, great grandchildren and their ancestors even, and their uh, past history came up and surfaced on the news every now and then just to keep us busy. Uh, and conveniently, after uh, seeing her so-called jubilee and conveniently again dubbing this woman as our new Prime Minister that uh, allegedly the Parliament and members of the uh, parties voted for, uh, but I tell you, she was installed. She wasn't voted for. And it's funny because everything that comes out of her mouth is just like pure evil. And everything that she says is wrong, is obvious wrong. And everything they say about her is wrong. And they themselves say 19%, 19, 1, 9% of the uh, poll suggests that people uh, have confidence in her to tackle the energy crisis and the cost of living. Anyway, if it is 19% then who voted for her? I just don't get that one. But anyway, that's besides the point. So conveniently, she is dubbed now as our <laughs> new prime minister. Um, and the news of the rich is surfacing again. It was first uh, the, the news of her contracting COVID-19, then uh, her son contracting the COVID-19 virus and going to meet her and this and that, just ridiculous news, just keep it, people busy. And now Prince William and Prince Andrew land in Scotland. So they're worried now, they're concerned. Well, I tell you, this uh, robot or whatever stunt they've put in, 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 in her place uh, is clear that it's not her. She has no reason. She, she looks like a man. Anyway, uh, the point being her death is going to be officially announced soon uh, after keeping it a secret for probably more than a year. Um, yeah, I would say more than a year. Probably it was 
uh, around I would say about mm, between April to June of 2021 and some some even say before that some go back to 2019 but I don't I don't say that I just think I have a feeling I have my own feeling I have my own uh, senses telling me it was around that time last year 2021 uh, around Aprilish uh, or after April uh, around that time not a, f a few months give or take around that time she'd already gone now you can see different uh, talks about her health and as she falls ill and this and that um, and talking about her replacement and talking about um, you know uh, all those kind of things that you can you can read here I don't want to uh, mention names because my uh, ministry channel has been struck down and um, we're using this platform now we're using another channel this truly majestic as our platform at the moment and uh, my some of my videos over here as well as well as, as I showed you before have been shadow banned and restricted so I don't want to have more uh, at least on this channel so I just wanted to suffice to that and say that uh, as I said then back in January uh, she had already gone and that our prophecies are coming true it wasn't a prophecy as in I prophesy for this to happen it was like I see the, the, the things uh, that has happened but is hidden or the things that are going to come so uh, now you will see that uh, you, you'll see in the coming days uh, or weeks as they are planning other evil agenda uh, they will surface the news of her death to distract many uh, as they are rolling out different things and and they are in trouble themselves because lots of these people even in that very video that I just uh, showed you that I've made in, in the cemetery uh, back in January. Uh, I mentioned lots of these people are dead and, and that a uh, lot of uh, people are just fake. The actors and actresses working, uh, replacing them, pretending they're there. And also in that same video, I said uh, a lot of people will be threatened, will be taken down mm. or uh, resign. They might mm, say they're resigning on the surface. They might actually resign uh, and they might be taken down for any kind of illnesses or they, they might claim they're dead and things like that. I said in, in that video so we can see the prime example happening here and uh, and I said all these things will happen this year and there you go this is only a fraction of what's happening and what we can see and what we can hear from the horse's mouth and I'm only referring you to the horse's mouth because <laughs> I know if I don't you'll just be and uh, thinking well you're you know bringing up news from places that are not reliable uh, this is not something because I believe some sort of conspiracy although there are conspiracies and um, but it's not nothing to do with that is because of my own spirit telling me that these people are not real they're not themselves uh, the, the, the actual people, the actual individuals have either gone, done, dusted <laughs> or been taken down or uh, they are just in hiding. And the ones you see, they are just uh, a fake uh, replacement. 
and so they are struggling and we are fighting back uh, we are fighting a battle as we've been uh, warned and taught uh, by the word of god by jesus himself by apostle paul by many that this is a spiritual war and we are in it and we are fighting back so our fight is not against flesh and blood and i say this over and over because some people still comment and send send messages to me that our you know war is not against flesh and blood but i already know that and i've already said that many times but because sometimes i miss to say that in one video in that one video <laughs> i get some attacks uh, you know just cool down uh, hold your horses down uh, i already know that and i've already mentioned if you don't know me you might need to look back in my past videos and get to know me a little bit before you judge or attack me uh, and that's fine uh, you know we all uh, guilty of those kind of things judging people judging a book by the cover and those kind of things but that's that's fine uh, just to say that we are in a battle we are in a spiritual battle uh, we have to pray against those spiritual forces that are in act in heavenly realms that we see their manifestation in the physical realm we have to continue praying as we are winning and they know that they are losing and that is why they might plan for big events such as 9-11 again um, to distract many and as I said to roll out many of their uh, plans and schemes that they have in their agenda lots of their agenda you know uh, that they've had they they haven't actually panned out because um, their computers <laughs> lied to them they couldn't simulate the things that are actually panning out in the real world they didn't they underestimated the people's reaction they underestimated the power of our prayers and they underestimated many many other things that computers cannot simulate at any time ever so keep praying against those evil forces in the heavenly realms and in the world in the physical realm we shall win because we are in christ and christ crushed the head of satan over 2000 years ago and we are in christ so satan and his head is under our feet watch out do not be deceived by their deceptions do not be deceived by their um, media boycott the msm and stay away from your devices remember these are satan's devices so stay away and keep your children away from them apart from the harmful uh, signals and waves that they have which i have actually made a video of uh, to show you how dangerous the emf signals are uh, and, and i'll put a link to that video in the description of this video too for people who are interested but apart from that the messages that you get through these devices are all uh, aimed at attacking your brain your health and entering it's basically opening an entrance into your head into your brain and and that is the entrance satan uses to get into your life you have to take the bible teaches us that we have to take every thought captive so if we are wide open to satan's devices and we are opening our children's uh, eyes and their thoughts and their minds to satan's devices and we let them access anything on this evil internet 
uh, through these devices, then then you're opening up yourself and your life, your children and your uh, family's life to Satan to come in and rule. It is your responsibility to control and stop that. So I would say boycott the MSM and at least, at least restrict your use of your devices. And you know what I mean by devices. And restrict and limit your children's use of, your family's use of these kind of devices because the messages that you get through them, the apps that you have on them already installed when you buy them, they're all evil and, and they're gates of hell. So you need to be mindful of those things and educate your children instead of just telling them this is bad and you know depriving them of devices that they might feel like deprived you need to educate them tell them they'll understand and so they will know what is evil this has been given to us the knowledge of good and evil has been passed down to us this is the original sin it's been passed down to us from Adam so we know from birth what is good and what is bad and if you tell your children what is good and what is bad they'll know and if you educate them today are put before you life and death choose life they will choose life educate them stay away from MSM and stay away from these devices My wife had a dream a few months ago that I would say what I just said to a crowd of people, warning them that these are dangerous and that we all have to stay away from them as much as possible and have as little time spent on those devices as possible. I was warning people intently as I was aware of the dangers and I was trying to warn as many people as possible and you need to do the same thing. Pass on this message that people need to stay away because they are harmful. Lots of people are dying because of these things. Be it spiritual or physical, but death is coming through them so you need to stay away from them all right i want to close this with a quick prayer uh, heavenly father thank you for all your blessings that you've given us thank you for the gift of salvation that you gave us through the blood of jesus christ on the cross of calvary we receive that by faith thank you lord we remember you Every time we drink and eat of this bread and this cup, we remember you, O oh Lord. We remember your sacrifice. We remember your blood that was shed for, our, for the redemption of our sins. We remember that your body was broken for the forgiveness of our sins. Forgive us, Father. Forgive the sins of our fathers and our forefathers. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Set a hedge of protection over us and our families and our children and our whole household and everything that belongs to us. Protect us with a hedge of protection with the blood of Jesus Christ. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Let everything we say and do be guided and ordered by your Holy Spirit. Let our steps be ordered by your Holy Spirit order our steps in Jesus name guide us lead us and let us have peace that surpasses all understanding thank you Lord thank you for our health let our freedom not be taken away let the freedom of our speech 
which is being slowly but surely taken away by the evil be restored. Let our words reach millions, although Satan is at work to restrict us and put a muzzle on our faces and stitch our lips together so we can't talk. And, and he's gagging us any way possible. Let our words reach the ends of the world against all odds. We pray that you may enrich everybody who is under the sound of my voice spiritually physically heal them and financially bless them in jesus name amen and amen god bless you and i'll see you again and i'm sure you hear the news soon and i don't need to update you again on that one at least till next video god bless you and goodbye